everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Consular Season 2, Episode God Knows What. Again! I'm doing it again! Again! So long before I've done an episode of this. I keep doing it, I can't help it. I, re I mean, I could, I probably really could, but I just can't help it! <sighs> but just care about that, yeah, there's an episode right now. Hooray, there's an episode. Right! Let's just get straight into it. Let's stop the moaning. Let's get straight into it. Last time. I can't remember. Um, Tabora has increased mining production of the rare fuel source isotope 5. Speeding at McKev's destruction. Lemda Avesta suggests that you shut down the mining platforms on the cartel's mining mesa to buy more time for the populace to flee the planet. To fully power down the mining laser at drilling platform Kita, you must first manually disengage its safeties. We need a companion out. Let's get out, Farron! More adventure. Indeed, I know. It's been like her however long. Um, right, I've got my buffs up. I've got my buffs up. Yes, I do. I need an experience oh, boost. Um, I, I don't have an experience boost. Yes, I do! There we go. Ah, and away we go again. And get rid of that. I feel That's weak. Quite enough of that. I don't know why. Just killing these enemies it just feels weaker. Oh, well. Um... Ah, kill you. It's been a while since I used my Jedi console, so I've... I'm, well, I say I've kind of forgotten how to use, how to play my Jedi console. I'm kind of the same with every class, to be honest with you. I don't really know how to play my Sith Warrior because I'm an idiot. Did I ever show you guys my lightsaber? I don't know if I ever did or not. But, uh, Shan has got, like, a blue lightsaber now. I don't know if that was his colour last time. But, hey. And it's sort of like the smoky one. Um, or at least it was. It's not smoking now. Oh, where's the, where's the smoke? There was a smoky one. There it is. There's a little smoke. Yeah, the, the animation just kind of stopped when it was fighting. There it is. A little smoky. So yes, that's his lightsaber now. I don't know if I ever showed you that in the last episode. I probably did. It's been like, what? A year since I did the last episode? No, it's not. It's been about, what? A month? Maybe? Maybe more than that? 50! I am not going to kill 50 of the cartel forces. No effing way. And I'm going to use a... Shadow ability because I'm a Jedi Shadow. I keep forgetting that. Wait, hold on. Isn't this the area where the um the uh, Datacron is? Yeah, because the Datacron's up there, isn't it? The big Datacron because you've got to go all the way through. Uh, oh god, that was a fun episode. That was a fun episode of the uh, Sith Warrior, wasn't it? I might even go back and watch that episode. That was, that was really a fun episode. Uh, right, so we need to go uh, dis disengage platform Kita safeties. Uh, which I believe is all around this area. I've actually got the Datacron because, of course, it's um, all the Datacrons are legacy bound now, aren't they? Global unlocks. Yeah, so I must have the Makeb one. Which I do! Yeah, so I don't have to do that ever again. Unless I want like the tiniest bit of experience or, I don't know, a codex. Which I don't really want a codex of this character because I've got it on Kratotoko already. Wait, I thought this is where I need to go. Oh, have I got to go? Oh, have I got to go that way and inside? Ah, uh, fine. Ooh, something I can scavenge! Oh wait, of course they did set it up so that you can scavenge anything. Now. So why have they kept the level on? Hmm, I don't know. Quite, I'm quite surprised they've kept the level on. Uh, oh, it's a phase. Oh, okay. It realize it's a phase. Alrighty then. Somebody's been overclocking those laser mechanics. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's so pretty! I want to touch it. Oh, damn it, the droid can see me. Damn you, droid. Damn you be able to see through my stealthiness. Oh, I didn't even hit you. Silly me. My god, this enemy is taking forever to die. Oh, god, there's one there. Damn it, there was one right there as well. Ah, Back to that one in a minute. Stop burning me alive. I'm a little bit ill as well. I'm ill like every month. I don't know why. It's really, uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to get myself checked out. I don't know what it is. Woo! Achievement! Mangling the Mining Mesa. Defeated 150 opponents of standard difficulty or above on the Cartel Mining Mesa on Macab. Oh, and I don't have to do that one anymore. So there we go, I've got all of that done. Lovely. Oh, I can scavenge that as well. Thank you! Oh, I, wait, I, I went from 199 to 203. Oh my. Um, right, stealth and um, mind warp. Cool. And then we'll do it from. We'll do it from. Here, don't see me. Damn it! Oh well. It must be weakness. Yeah, death. Oh, I should probably have a uh, stim up as well, J 
just to make myself a little bit more powerful. Oh, I'm going to have to kill these guys as well. Oh, why am I doing that? It's a up close ability. Stand up. Silly man. Woo! McKeb Annihilation! Uh, defeated 2,500 2, non player opponents while I'm a Keb. Blimey! And now I need to do the 5,000 one! That's gonna be fun. But I don't know if I can bother to do that. Because uh, how many times will I need to com complete Rise of the Hot Cartel? I don't know, about 10 maybe? I don't know. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. Thank you! Did I ever tell you guys who I'm gonna get a strand to romance? I don't think I ever did, but all I can say is that it's not going to be Nadia, unfortunately. As much as you probably want it to be Nadia, you can stop now. You, you, you can stop. Hold on. Oh god! Oh! 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 God! Oh, 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 oh. Anyway, uh, last one. Uh, yeah, so it's not going to be Nadia. That is going to be uh, romance by Strand, unfortunately. But I do know who Strand is going to romance. And whether or not you'll like it, well, it's tough crap, isn't it? Haha! -ha, more enemies that I need to kill! Well, you can be stealth. You can be a stealthed? Well, yeah, stealth, I guess. Oh, damn it! That How did that even reach you? Must be damn it. Again! Death! Right, you're all dead. I probably could just do the bonus mission, but nah. Can't be bothered. Bloop, 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 bloop! And cutscene? No. Ah, this gauge platform Kawana safety. Oh god, I gotta do it again. Uh... Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Being attacked by a droid. Oh dear. Get into stealth. Get into stealth. Where's my stealth? Where's my stealth? There it is. Found it. Oh my goodness me. There's a ranker. I sound like C3PO then. Oh my goodness me. There's a ranker. So I'm thinking. Lego, Star Wars, The Force Awakens playthrough, guys? Yeah? Yeah? Anyone else thinking that? Because I definitely want to do that on my channel. Yeah? Yeah? I'm thinking that too. Do I get the PC version or do I get the PS4 version? Because the PS4 version comes with a um, some exclusive levels. For example, it comes with the um, level showing you how C-3PO got his red arm. Which, yeah, we might as well do. Um, damn it, I'm going in the wrong way. I guess I've got to go that way around again. Don't see me. Um, so yeah, I guess I have to get it on PS4 and then attach my PVR to my PS4 and play it that way. So yeah, I think there's going to be a playthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Whether or not you'll watch it, we'll see. I'll do like a couple of episodes if you guys are still watching and I'll continue. And if you're not watching, well then screw you all. Wait, there's probably one there. Yes, there is. I'm going to stun you so that you don't see me at the worst of things. Oh, you nearly saw me. And uh, we should be good. Yeah! Power storage detected. Damage to power conduits. Uh-oh! The beam has gone red! Is no one doing anything about that, then? Okay. Oh, repair the damage con- Oh! Oh. I guess... Fine. I guess I've got to go around there, then. Alright. Wait. So, so i got to repair something. This droid is already repairing. Right. Okay. <coughs> ah, I am so sick today. Sorry about coughing in your faces, people. Uh, oh god! Oh god! I'm gonna get back. God! Stop making me go around in circles. Oh, something green. Is it bogies? No. Well, that. Oh, that is practically more powerful than what I've already got. Well then. Don't mind if I do. What about this? Is this more powerful than what I got? Yes. Well then, don't mind if I do. Anything else? Have I got anything else? Um. No. 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 All right then. And warp you again. You don't see anything. You don't see anything. That's the last one. Oh, it's over there. Lovely. Don't see me, droid. Don't you dare see me. Thank you. Ooh, there's no one around here there anyway. There's you guys over there, but. You're not going to see me, are you? You got a horrible mohawk. You should get that cut off. Um, right, uh, the Wana laser. Oh, Kawana laser. Mm. Uh, where am I going? Um, I guess... This way! How'd you see me? Well, that was certainly easy to do. Fine. Ignore me, man. Ignore me. Thank you. You are a terrible gunman if you didn't see me. You know, it gets to a point where all I need to do is press 2 and they just die. That's all I really gotta do, because I'm not exactly losing too much health now, because of course Laren is just the healer and you know, 
things have been scaled. Oh my god, I gotta do it again! Please, will you let this be the last one? Ooh, pretty waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Why would you go chasing waterfalls? Now, do you ever just sort of see a waterfall and be like, Ooh, I'll chase you all the way down there to my death? Uh, right, first one is over here. Please let this be the very last one. Although things always do come in threes, so... Shadow Strike! Oh. What? Did that... Use the force to weed three shadows appearing at your enemy target and increase your move. Oh! I thought Shadow Strike would actually hit them. Okay, well guess how much I know about my abilities. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know them perfectly. <sighs> I wish I was smarter. You know, at this rate, I probably could have actually done the bonus mission. I'm at 31 out of 50, so, you know. How much experience will I get? 42,000 as well. That isn't too bad compared to 154,000. Uh, that's what? 25%-ish? Yeah, about that. Never suspect the scientist. They always suspect the scientist. You realise that, don't you? You know, you don't get a... Well, you do get evil Jedi, sure, but it's mostly an evil scientist. Yeah? You get that, Darren? Evil Scientist! Enter platform Dubaz! Laser control room. Duba! Oh, well clearly this is going to be a battle if all I've got to do is enter the control room. Somebody's dead. Oh no! Private Vendelic! Finally, a cutscene. Thanks for the assist. Private Vendelic, 8th Imperial Infantry. Might keep your distance. Insights leaking out. <laughs> I prefer you this way. Don't try to move. We'll transport you out of here. Generous, but... A waste of effort. Not much time. So listen. Wasn't always Imperial military. Born on Macab. Caught wind of the hot takeover. And volunteered for this. Defend my old home. Either the Empire's getting sentimental, or it doesn't know your true loyalties. Good for the mission. Knew the terrain. And the people. Or as were to steal Isotope 5. But I wanted to help your evacuation. Still have friends and family here. Shutting down drills, not enough. Need to open emergency release valves at primary control center. Reduce core pressure. I guess he's gotta do that. You're a soldier, not a geologist. How did you figure all this out on your own? I grew up on these platforms. My father was a foreman. You got a three man. spike in control center's mainframe. Override hut security lockout. Take control. Vent the core. Control center's heavily guarded. Sorry, that part's on you. Please get my people off this rock. Is there a message you want delivered to your friends and family? No time. Wish I could stay. So I'm gonna go to his family and say his last words were no time. Okay, you, you had time to say something. You said wish you could stay, so maybe I'll say wish he could stay to your family. Yeah? Yeah? Alright. Ah, silly, silly dead person. Slice the primary security console, which would be all the way over there. Oh my goodness me. Aha! This is what I've got to go into. Ooh, there's a security box. No! No time! You've only got about half an hour's time for... Ooh, I heard a blip. Is there a bomb? Anyway, yeah, you only have like half an hour for an episode, because I've sort of changed the way I do my episodes now. I do like half an hour chunks. So I'm, I don't... I m remember when I used to sort of like record a whole bunch of footage and then like split it up to like three parts, something like that? That's gone. I just do like an episode and then an episode and then an episode and then an episode. It's just easier and it just makes things feel like... I don't know, you don't just jump into an episode and you're like, Oh my god, what's going on? Ah! Um, so anyway, yes. Uh, die, I guess. You know what? I am actually like 11 enemies away from doing the bonus mission. So if you just excuse me a moment, I'm going to kill all the enemies in this area. Guys, I can now get the security chest. Yay. So not only will I get experience for doing the bonus mission, I'll also get whatever loot is in there, which will be terrible because the Kev and I'm level 56. I'm probably way higher than the loot I'll get. Actually, no, that's probably a lie because look at the loot which I got earlier on. And I, you know, I had worse loot, worse gear, so maybe. And I'll take that 40,000 experience, yo. Thank you. Let's see what loot is in the chest. Um, 
crafting materials, a bracer, and something else which I didn't really pay attention to. Oh, and a med pack as well. Alright. Let's see what crafting materials we got. We got eight ancient artifact fragments. Alrighty then. I really need to sort out my loot. I mean, look at this. I just... Huh! <sighs> my word. Alright, cutscene. Lemda, Gez, we're at the drilling site's primary control center. An Imperial soldier, an ex-native, told us to open the emergency release valves. He said it was the only way to release planetary core pressure. Do you agree? Tectonic vibrations are still off the charts. Caranto Mesa just exploded. Good thing we're not there. Those drilling lasers were working overtime. The heat buildup beneath the planet's crust is massive. Venting the core would cool things off. All that heat has to go someplace. Is there a way we could direct it to take out Taboros forces? Nice thought, but no. Normally, venting that much heat would cause an environmental catastrophe. But at this point, who cares? <laughs> what? At this point, who cares? Just do it, see what happens. Don't worry if you kill innocent civilians, you know? It's working. Readings show seismic activity falling quickly. That should buy you enough time to get the Ark's fuel rods. We're still cutting it awfully close. Can we use this equipment to reverse the core's damage? Well, if we had months, maybe. But we don't. We've had an interesting development while you were gone. Dr. Ogarab isn't the only hut on Makeb who's changing sides. The local hut cartel leaders, minus Taboro, want to negotiate with you personally. Hurry back to camp and meet us in the diplomatic tent. Let me guess. They're now chicken because we're taking Makeb back. They were like, actually. Maybe, maybe, maybe we, maybe we did wrong. Yeah, we, we don't want to die. Wait, are you saying that the huts are going to be in the tent, or they're going to be on a um, um, hollow projector? Probably the hollow projector. I can't imagine you'd fit like three huts in this one tent. Can't imagine. Yep, thought so. Hollow projector. You sold us out to that maniac to borrow. Now that he's turned on you, we're supposed to save your skins. Incredible. Had we known Taboro was insane, we never would have supported him. He is no longer Hut Cartel. We formally shun him. However, in breaking ties with Taboro, we find ourselves stranded on Makeb with you. We are prepared to offer generous compensation for seating and cargo space aboard the Ark. Cargo? Are you delusional? Your bodies take up more room than a dozen good people. Ah, one of the Republic's greatest heroes. Just the person we could use to bring some wisdom and perspective to the discussion. I think you'll need my brother. In my experience, wisdom and perspective are necessary qualities for anyone who desires harmony. Where was the Hut's wisdom when they mined my world to death? Most revered Republic champions, my masters apologize for this unfortunate situation. Surely we can reach a state of mutually beneficial recompense and earn passage aboard the Ark? My people deserve rescue. The Hut Cartel's leaders can't just beg their way out. Shalem's right. But these are the most powerful huts in the galaxy. We can name our price to save their lives. And think what that means for defeating the Empire. Yeah, you're, you're such a schemer. Are you planning to run for Senate as soon as we leave the planet? Hadn't really thought about it. My point is, you have the power to force the cartel to commit its forces to us. Taboro has lost his mind, and these cartel leaders know it. They can't go back to him. They need us. Honored Republic heroes, you are known for mercy and greatness. Can you find it within yourselves to forgive our profound error in judgment? Um, that is a thought. We could use them. Um, this is strictly business. Stop appealing to our sentimentality. Forgiveness isn't the issue here. Your masters want a ticket off Makeb, and we'll consider providing it for the right price. Honored Republic negotiators, my masters will happily continue debasing themselves, but Makeb's time grows short. If you provide safe passage for my masters and their cargo, they will fully commit the cartel to an alliance with the Republic. Surely you find this agreeable? Uh, you will serve and obey us. Come on, Strander. Fine, we'll be reasonable. Inform your masters that they'll be allowed to board the Ark with the other refugees. Personal belongings will be loaded as space permits. 
First priority will be given to food, medicine, and other items essential to survival. Our rhodium plated statues will not qualify. We'll negotiate exactly what responsibilities the cartel has to the Republic once this crisis is over. We'll expect full cooperation. Why doesn't he speak? My masters wish no further hostilities with you. The offer is accepted without condition. I think you're the first in galactic history to force the huts into a deal they can't afford. Now all we need are those fuel rods. Dr. Ogarab is with Shalem. You should coordinate with them. Alright, where is Shalem? I guess he's not far. I guess he's... Oh, just in the tent over there! Alright, did he, did he storm over? Was he so upset? Oh, don't worry, I saved the day, as always. Shalem. The cartel has deserted you, Taboro. You have no allies left. Don't be a fool. Give us the fuel rods. Never! The entire galaxy plots against me, but I still hold the ultimate power. Let this planet tear itself apart. My fortress can withstand anything. When you are dead, Tabori will still remain. This galaxy is mine. We're done negotiating with that insane hut. Cut the calm and stop wasting time. I thought I could appeal to the businessman in him. Apparently that part of Tabori no longer exists. That inbred imbecile has abandoned all sanity. You will have to take the Ark's fuel rods by force. His palace is a testament to my artistry. I poured my spirit into designing lethal defenses. I also left myself a private entrance inside. A secret back door? I'm starting to like you, Ogarab. My charms are legion. A secret back door? Far more than my inspired designs guarding him. His most lethal soldiers and isotope 5 droids patrol every corridor. Easy. You'll hold this position until you get back. Without those fuel rods, millions will die. If you can't get them, I'm canceling your parade. Ah, what? Tell your people not to worry. We'll get those fuel rods no matter what. Be safe. You now have coordinates and the security code to my secret entrance. Once you're inside, contact me for more information. Don't die. Well, I'll try my best. You know, I can't help that sometimes. You know, it's it's probably going to happen. You know. Um, right. So, I'll take that reputation. Thank you very much. I'm surprised I haven't even got to uh, Legend yet. There we go. That was a fair chunk of um, Jedi Consular goodness. Take on Kataboya. I'm guessing this is like the last mission for Shadow of uh, Shadow of Revan for Rise of the Hut Cartel. I'd like to hope so. You know, we've been going on for Rise of the Hut Cartel for so long now that I just want to move on to Shadow of Revan. Which, although, you know, I guess I've already done on Granitoko, this would be like Strander's version. Strander's version of events. And then, of course, you've got uh, Knights of the Fallen Empire. And again, Strander's version of events. And I've already thought out how Strander's going to take on Knights of the Fallen Empire. Mm hmm. I thought it out. I just need to transition him to that point. So, yes. Hope you'll enjoy that. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you in a year for Jedi Consular. Now, nah. I'll make sure to try and do this weekly, because it needs to be weekly now. It needs to do like, I don't know. My whole idea was something like Jedi Consular on a Monday or Tuesday, PVK on Wednesday. Then, of course, there was like Stronghold Showcase, which was on Thursdays, but I kind of stopped that now, because nobody was sending in any more of the... Um, I had like one on standby, but like nobody else is sending any... Um, Stronghold said, maybe they have on the email. I just haven't checked the email for a long time. Fridays was uh, Jedi Knight, and then Saturdays was going to be um, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and then Sunday was going to be uh, the game which I was going to play, which wasn't Star Wars. That was my plan. And of course, you know, the, the plan would sort of change when there'd be a new chapter. So Tuesdays, uh, Wednesdays, and Thursday. Tuesday would be like the new chapter, the first part of the new chapter. Wednesday would be a pack opening video, and then Thursday would be um, continuing the chapter. And then whatever else but that was my plan and I never and I never did it so maybe I'll do it I don't know so thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen I just sort of like mumbled there you had no idea what I just said there and I will see you next time and a farewell to you